Salwete Omnes. This is Magister Hodges, and uh, we're going to look at the um, different verb forms that we're learning about using this sentence builder as our reference. So uh, from the practices before, you may have a general idea of how this works. We're going to go into a little bit more depth by focusing solely on these two columns right here. So let's start by talking about the difference between active and passive verbs. So, and we'll do this in the present tense. So as you know, uh, verbs have tense, they have voice. Tense is when it happens, and voice is whether the subject is doing the action, that's an active verb, and if the subject is receiving the action, that's a passive verb. So, um, we'll look at these examples here. At the top, you have karat, widet, amat, devorat, dat, and parat. You'll notice one similarity, all of these end in T, and these mean cares for, sees, loves, devours, gives, and prepares. These are our active verbs up here. They're um, acting, they are, uh, you know, whatever the subject would be, whether it be he, she, the earth itself, what have you, from this first column. Uh, when it ends with T, you know that that subject is the one doing that action. Now let's look at how these change down here. Parat turns into parator, dot turns into dator, korat turns into korator, widet, widetor, amat, amator, and devorat turns into devorator. So the it's not hard to see the pattern here. Up here they end with T, down here they end with ter. Um, and the difference in the English translation, it goes from prepares to is prepared or is being prepared or gives turns into is being given. So what we learn right now just from this sentence builder is that if you just change the ending to T-U-R, uh, then it's going to make it passive. And you can say the king uh is being cared for and then you'll choose uh some version over here from the ablative of agent uh by mother earth right a mantra terra we'll talk more about that in a minute so uh i want to look a little closer at these endings real quick so what we see here are all the third person singular endings for if one person is doing it and it's not i or you it's a uh, he she or it so let's look right here so, uh, if you look at the third person singular, we have dot is going to be our example here. Um, so, dot, you form it by just taking the second principal part, removing the RE, and then slapping on, you know, the third singular ending, which is typically T. Um, over here on the left side, we have present actives, the first thing you learn. So, if it ends with O, that means I do it. Ends with S means you do it. T means he, she, or it does it. Mus means we do it. Dotis, tis means y'all do it. And nt means they do it. <clears throat> So let's look how these change. Uh, like I said, you see third singular is dot. That's what we saw in our sentence builder. And over here, see dator, third singular passive, t to tor. Um, but you can do this in all the other persons too. Uh, and we're going to be seeing examples of this soon. So, uh, and you'll have plenty of time to practice this. So do, I give, turns into door, I am being given. Das turns into daris, you are being given. And we know dot turns into dator, he, she, or it is being given. Mus turns into mer, da mer, we are being given. Datis turns into damini, which is fun to say, y'all are being given. And dant turns into danter. So that's basically it. These are a new set of endings to learn and be familiar with. You'll see one major feature is that they end with R. It's a good way to tell something is passive if a verb ends with R. Most likely it is passive and it means the, su the subject is receiving whatever the action is. So instead of me doing the giving, I am, if I say door, uh, I am the one who is being given. Right, uh, dor barbaris uh, a milite. I am being given to the barbarians by the by the soldier. Um, so that's one way to do it. Um, anyway, so that's just uh, act. That is present active to present passive. In the next video, we'll talk about the future tense, future active, and future passive. Walete.